Do you see here? Hi guys and gals. Well, hope you're well. Today is Saturday morning. Yeah. And so it's the weekend. And uh, it's cold here. You probably noticed that I've gone from, uh, well, I was going to say wearing uh, just my normal, just a shirt and a cap or something. But we have, we've gone like from 31 degrees and now, I don't know, it's probably like something like closer to 10 walking around a bit because I noticed like because of the background light uh, there's a bit of a difference in the quality of the image yeah so what's up well it's early enough I mean it's uh, probably around eight something like that and uh, I just came out to make a quick vlog uh, I'll be off on Monday for three days to Sweden a business trip so I don't know if I'll be getting to uh, be much online on those three days. Well, you know the way I am. I probably will find a way to get there. Oh, I'm being photobombed by somebody in the window there. Oh, it's myself. <laughs> of course I knew that. Yeah, so what's going to chat about? Well, I saw something in uh, an article in the New York Times. It was about talking allowed to yourself it's funny because this subject seems to be coming back uh more than more and more i've noticed that i myself have vlogged about something like that for a while but uh, the article was uh, on uh, the fact that somebody was in a store i should have brought the paper with me anyway somebody was in a store and uh, said that somebody came up to them and said can i help you and the person realized that um, uh, he was talking aloud to himself. Now, I don't remember now in the article if the person is a therapist or a psychologist or whatever. It doesn't really matter. But the whole article was on the fact of talking aloud to oneself. And that there were different ways, I was going to say we could say different modes when you talk aloud to yourself. Uh, one is a motivational one that you can talk aloud to yourself and kind of like self-motivate yourself. And the other one is a reflective way of talking to yourself. Um, when I was thinking about the motivational thing, it was also quite amusing because within there, and we'd actually within both modes, the person was talking about how do you talk your, to yourself? Do you talk to yourself as if you're conversing? Or do you talk to yourself... Um, as if you were lecturing, which is quite different in a way. Because in one way you're giving lessons to yourself, and the other way you're just having a conversation. Now, there was also the fact was like, you talk to yourself in the third person, uh, or do you actually name your name? Like, you can do it, Bernie, or uh, just you can do it, or, well, maybe not the third person actually, but you know, I mean, in a more of a, um, let's say uh, an anonymous mode like you can do it uh, well you know what I mean anyway now that was quite interesting in the fact is that how do you actually relate to yourselves and I was thinking about that also in a way because when we had talked in a vlog quite a while back and actually do you realize the way I said that the we have talked because I'm not now I'm talking to you but I do realize very often that when we vlog, I mean, of course, what we're doing, we're talking out loud, but we're not actually talking to ourselves. We're not actually talking to ourselves. We're, we're vlogging, so in that respect, we're talking to somebody else. People think when they see us that we're talking to ourselves, but we know that actually we are not, that we're talking to an audience, put it that way, or a few people. Now, I think... Not very long ago, I've made a few uh, live feeds. And the live feeds on, on YouTube, I have done some on Facebook. The ones on YouTube, the last, last or before last one I did, lasted about, well, it lasted an hour. And uh, one person, actually, Andy Fickwig, uh, watched the whole thing. And what is quite different in the live feed I found up to a point 
and in the live feeds as such it is different because when you're vlogging usually i mean usually you come on you might not have anything to say and in the vlog it ends up pretty short or you do have something to say like i am now and you're making it up on the cuff but i mean there is a subject to talk about but you're talking with someone in the live feeds uh, very often unless you have people that come on and ask questions and so on you are actually talking to yourself and that I was wondering like I felt there was a difference when you were doing the live feeds to when you were vlogging and I think that is probably one of the differences is that in the live feeds you're kind of having a conversation at least in the first part until people come on in you're having to converse with yourself uh, that's the way I felt it anyway so it's quite interesting was it a reflective the life the long life flee, feed fleet the long live feed that I made the one that lasted an hour I think was quite reflective actually um, sometimes I mean uh, will they be motivational I think actually that the motivational talks to oneself are different like for example before an exam or something like that but what this person was talking about in the article was specifically talking out loud to oneself. I mean, we all converse with oneself, uh, you know, silently. But talking out loud to oneself, well, like I'm doing right now, if somebody walked along, they'd say, what's he doing? Well, of course, I'm holding a camera. So, of course, uh, uh, in today's day and world, it doesn't seem so strange to see someone talking aloud because we think they're talking you know, talking like through a loudspeaker or something, or in their phone or something like that. But you know the way it was like um, 20, 30 years ago, before people had phones, anybody was walking along the street and talking out loud to himself was a nut. <sighs> Maybe they weren't. Maybe they weren't. Maybe we're rediscovering that they weren't. Okay. <laughs> so that's all for Saturday morning. BC signing off. Take care, take care, everybody. Hope you have a great weekend. Bye-bye.